Hey everybody, so this is the much requested uh, first impressions review and tutorial using the Balm Nude Dude Palette. This is a volume two to the Nude Tude Palette. So it comes with a really gigantic nice mirror and has pictures of these guys posing. They have like towels on, so it's not too, too risque. So here is a close up of the palette. As you can see, As you can see, it comes with 12 shadows. And I will list them off and swatch them. Let me go through the shades here. This is Fearless. This is like a kind of a, um, well, I would say skin tone because it matches my skin tone, but obviously it's not gonna match everybody's skin tone. Um, but it looks like it's got like a satin finish to it. So it's kind of a peachy color, I guess. Um, this one, Fabulous is more of like a yellowy cream color. It seems pretty matte. Oh no, I think it's a satin as well. Okay. This one is flawless. This is like a great crease color. It's just kind of a, hmm, it reminds me of Max Wedge. The taupey brown. Matte. This one is faithful. It's Really, really pretty golden color. Um, I will say, I like this palette very much. Here it is. But it kicks up a lot of shadow when you swatch it, when you put your brush in. This one, I have it all over my lid today, is the shade Firm. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful taupe. Put it in such a crappy spot too. Mm -hmm. The one underneath it is the shade Fit. This is another gold, but this one kind of reminds me of Chopper from the Naked 2 palette. Or actually it's been in a lot of um, palettes, but it's like a peachy, more peachy gold. Oh my gosh, my battery is flashing at me. Okay, this next one is Flirty. It looks like a purpley color with like a gold shimmer to it. There we go. So this is it right here. Pretty. And then the one underneath it is Feisty. It's another matte color. This one reminds me of Tees from the Naked 2 palette. Or like Max Quarry. It's kind of like a matte rosy shade. This would be pretty in the crease or all over the lid. Alrighty, now we're getting some of the darker shades. This one is Friendly. This one reminds me of the dark purple in the palette that I'm painting right now. It's like the Too Faced Romantic Eye palette that's discontinued. So if you were somebody who liked that shade and were sad it got discontinued, it's that dark, dark purple right there. I'm gonna go on to the other hand now. The one underneath it is called Funny. This is kind of like a golden burgundy. Really pretty. There you go. The next one up here is Fierce. This is like a shimmery black, like Black Tide or something like that from MAC. Ooh, maybe it's actually gray. Maybe it's a dark gray with some silver shimmer. And the last one is Fine, which is a beautiful, deep, chocolatey brown with a little bit of sheen. That's really pretty. You know what? That reminds me kind of of Sable from MAC. There you go. So here's all the swatches, a close-up of them. It's a great palette. I really like it. Um, long wearing, very neutral, great pigmentation. Um, the only thing that I really could say would be negative is that it kicks up a lot while um, swatching and dipping your brush in. But other than that, I really enjoy this palette. Um, it does come with a little brush. I don't really use it. Um, I haven't used it, but 
Um, yeah, and it also comes with the Bodybuilder Mascara. Ooh, where did it go? This one, it's called What's Your Type? The Bodybuilder Black Mascara. And this one I like very much. I wouldn't say it's like holy grail, but I do like it. I like it a lot. That's how I would say it. So the wand is kind of interesting. It's like spiky, but it gets a little bit skinny right here. If you can tell. And I have two coats of it on today. So, all right. Um, I hope that answered everybody's questions, things they were wondering about the palette. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will move on to the tutorial now. And then also just as for upcoming videos, I am going to start filming my MAC collection videos like MAC lipstick collection, eyeshadow collection, blush collections that have been requested, as well as other collection type videos that have been requested. So, all right, so now let's get into the tutorial. Alrighty, so I primed my face with Bare Minerals Prime Time and my eyes with the Lorac eyeshadow primer. And then I just used the Juice Beauty um, Tinted Mineral Moisturizer. And I tapped it with the Juice Beauty Refining Finishing Powder. And then for my eyebrows, I just did the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Espresso. So, getting to the good stuff. So I have the Nude Dude Palette, and I think I am going to go with Flawless in the Crease. the rest of the look for bronzer I did Tarte Park Avenue Princess this is a limited edition palette but this is a permanent bronzer uh, for blush I use the L'Oreal Visible Lift Rose Gold Lift blush it's so pretty it has this beautiful gold sheen to it and then I topped it with Benefit Coralie Sticks and we're campaigning it I didn't use a highlighter just because this does have quite a bit of shimmer to it and then for my lips, I did the Baby Lips Peach Kiss and topped it with Laura Mercier Gloss in Pink Diamond. So this is the look. Very neutral, very everyday, which I really like right now that it's getting to be summertime. I just really like it. So I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed. I know a lot of you guys requested this. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Ha! I don't have it with me. Am I gonna? Eh. All right.